Welcome back, everyone. Uh, my name is Elaj Balde. We're here at the Canadian Tire National Skating Champions 2020, and we have our new Ice Dance Champions, Piper and Paul. Um, congratulations, guys. Thank Absolutely you so amazing. Thank you. Um, you guys seem to know the recipe of creating a moment. Uh, I feel like last year you guys started on this journey of just taking people in, and, and you started a while ago, but last year you really uh, put it together and were able to bring people in and this year again uh, with the program that you guys are bringing in people are just mesmerized throughout the whole thing uh, you're like hypnotizing people in a way um, how did it feel what how, what was the process going through yesterday into today and how did it feel uh, performing this uh, performance today I think again we we're not used to again being on top of the podium so it feels a little weird you know doing the short program we've always we know how to be the underdogs and how to take people over and it's a completely different position to be in so I think yesterday we really had to regroup after a, a great performance but a weird <laughs> one um, and, and and learn from that and, and embrace you know the moment that we're in and we could be the Cana next Canadian champion so I think we just took one element at a time and just let our, our training do the job because we were ready for this moment we just really needed to let our body sit and just kind of almost skate outwards and embrace the energy and what the people are giving us and I think that just goes to show that you know we're we're becoming capable of being on the top by embracing each moment and relying on our training absolutely I mean uh, watching the the detail sheet um, there was I think 19 tens in the components um, I think two of your elements were all five except one four you know it's like yeah. uh, not only are you guys doing that to the audience but you're also doing really incredible technical elements that are so clean and well done and one thing that I've noticed is that throughout the season every time you guys step out there for competition the program gets better it Thank gets you. better more detailed yeah. uh, more Thank refined you. is that something that is that in your strategy is that something that you guys focus on mm -hmm. yeah I think uh, last year we sort of let ourselves get derailed by circumstances circumstances throughout the season and our training got interrupted really often so for us a big part of the strategy for this season has been to sort of continue creatively as we've been doing but to really focus on not letting anything derail the training just being really consistent day in and day out at the rink um, I think we've had a really strong plan we've been really focused we've followed our plan um, to the T and I think that's given us a lot of confidence we really know that we can handle anything yesterday was a really um, big testament of that just kind of taking the costume malfunction and continuing and putting out a solid performance so I think every time we come out um, we're seeing the results of the training that we're putting in um, and I think as we've moved forward we've gotten a lot more confident in ourselves and in our team and our coaches Carol and Yuris who um, are constantly pushing us and giving us more um, and I think because of that it's allowed us to really just excel in competition and bring our best performance each time. Yeah I mean clearly I think that's uh, that's such a key uh, thing that you guys were able to embrace and, and take on this journey with you guys um, and so now you know you you guys established yourselves not only not only as champions but with the new Canadian record as well um, as contenders you know for you know you guys want to compete with the top in the world um, what is now is the now is the time to talk about what is the strategy uh, for the next few months what are you guys because you guys are going to go to four continents mm -hmm. and then worlds um, what are the steps you guys are going to take because clearly everything's so methodical um, what are the steps the steps you guys are going to take uh, throughout four continents and worlds well I just think it's just kind of breaking this program apart a little bit and just seeing where we can add that other layer um, every like when we get to this point of the year it's it's easy to kind of coast um, so we have to figure out how to create those up and down moments where the audience can just get that emotional feeling because they just don't know what's going to happen so I think it's taking a step back and looking at okay which part of this program maybe people didn't feel as much from so we got to figure out maybe we need to drop the emotion here and then raise it here and and, then, and that's been kind of the fun part since the Grand Prix final has been we've been able able to take a step back and look at what else we can do to uh, add another lay to this program and I think we've done that and I think we're just going to continue to kind of go back and we had a few other ideas um, but again we only have so much time um, and we wanted to make sure the new stuff that we did we did them well um, so maybe we'll take a look at them but you know that's really what we need to do is just the emotional part because the technical part is still there absolutely I and you know you guys are talking about you know going you know details and stuff like that. I don't see anything <laughs> I don't see anything that can get better from my eyes. You know, it's so pure, it's so clean, everything's so there. The the levels are incredible. You bring people on a roller coaster. The, the, you know, even just the little details around the corner where you 
you you hop it and then the next one you hop you know those oh, yeah i just love it you know it's such <laughs> little stuff that just you guys do so well and it's it's attention to detail that i think um it just sets you guys apart yeah. uh from a lot of a lot of teams so uh congratulations Thank you i mean so this much. must feel really good for you guys and you guys like you said you handle situation really well uh new situations so congratulations we're super happy we're excited for you guys you. um everyone at home is probably jumping up and down from their seats so uh, yeah. good luck for the rest of the season Thank and um, guys stay tuned we have more interviews coming up. Thank you.